Hey guys, what's up? As you can see, today I am starting this video on this sofa here because frankly my office is a mess. Anyway, today I'm going to be installing Windows 8 developer preview beta thing, whatever it is, on my Mac on a boot camp partition. I just kind of wanted to try it out and see what it was like, although I don't really hold up too much hope for it. Might work okay on tablets and stuff like the new Microsoft Surface, but I don't think it's going to be that great on desktops and laptops. Anyway, let's have a look. So yeah, here is my MacBook Pro. I suppose I could start this as a screen capture, but I really can't be bothered. So I'm doing it like this. Ah, uh, let me see. Start off by going to Boot Camp Assistant. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Continue. Uh, no. Don't think I want to do either of them. Download the latest Windows support software from Apple. Actually, yeah, let's do that, but I don't want to install Windows 7. Don't want to do that. To use the Windows support software... Uh, let's save a copy to an external hard drive. Save as Windows support. Let's just put it on the desktop for now. I could use my... Um, the discs that came with my laptop to do this, but I'm not entirely sure where they are, so makes sense to do it this way, I think. This could take a little while. Back in a sec. So, as you can see, it has finished downloading the Windows support files, so here is my hard drive. I intend to put them on there. In fact, this is actually the old hard drive from this laptop, which I put in the iOmega Select hard drive caddy when I replaced the hard drive and upgraded it to a 500 gigabyte one. Okay, let's move this onto there and wait for it to copy oops continue I've already done that I kinda did this in a funny order, I should have ticked that originally, I didn't read it properly because I'm an idiot Next. Okay, hold on, let me just eject my hard drive. <sighs> cool. So, I think... Let's give Windows 70 gigabytes. 70 gigabytes sounds good. Install. My Windows disk is already in the DVD drive. As you can see, it finished partitioning my hard drive, and once it finished, it just immediately started to restart. So I assume it's booting, yeah, it's booting to the Windows install disk. Now we wait for Windows to load. Now this is going to take a while because it's Windows. Oh, I shouldn't be so negative. Um, I don't really know what to expect from Windows 8. From what I've seen, I haven't really been particularly impressed by it. I mean, I'm not sure about the new start menu. In some ways it's good, but like... I quite like the way in the previous one you can just view all your applications and they're there in a simple menu. Because although I use a Mac, I actually still quite like Windows 7. I find it perfectly fine to use and I use it at college all the time. It's really not that bad. 
But Windows 8, I think it's going to be a big jump. I don't think it's going to be that intuitive to use either. From from what it looks, especially on a laptop or a desktop, it really does not look intuitive to use. But I could be proved wrong here. Aha, we have a random circular thing, and now Windows. Hooray! English United States, no way. Oh, it's the only option. Okay, fine. We shall have US English. I don't see why they can't have United Kingdom English, but I guess they're almost the same. United States, United Kingdom, next. Install now, I guess. Setup is starting. How exciting. Well, setup is taking far too long to start. Product key. Oh, yes. I forgot. I downloaded the product key onto my laptop and forgot to write it down. Back in a sec. Right, I have quickly logged onto another computer to find the product key. I am not too bothered if you see this because it's just the same for anything. If there are any questions. PF. There we go. Next. Yes, I could sit here for the rest of my life reading all of this. But, I can't be bothered, and I have better things to do. So, yes. Upgrade, I will install Windows and keep... No, I'm not upgrading. Custom, please. And we shall install... On that drive there. Why can it not be installed? Because it must be formatted as NTFS. Okay. Fine, we shall format it as NTFS. Format. Nope, it does not contain important files because I just created it. Now we can use that partition. Hooray! Next. Ooh, installing Windows. How exciting. And now we wait. Hooray! Almost finished. Last section. Ooh! Let's beat the timer. Restart now. Hmm. Interesting. White screen. Wow, that came out wrong. White screen, even. Ooh, it's killed my autofocus. There we go. Groovy little loading thing. Wow. Please wait. Yes, that is what I'm doing. Don't really have another option there. Not a lot else I can do. Ooh, out of focus again. 
No, come back. Apparently my camera doesn't like black screens. Preparing. Wow. Yes, come on. Almost there. <sighs> well, through the aid of editing magic, you lot haven't had to endure all this waiting, but I have. And let me tell you, there has been a lot of it. Although, to be fair, it didn't take as long as I was expecting to install. It was quite reasonable, really. Especially compared to a lot of other systems. It really wasn't too bad. In fact, downloading those stupid drivers is what took the longest. Hopefully it'll be worth it. However, it does seem to have to restart it a couple of times, and that's a little bit funny. Normally when you install something, it only restarts, what, once or something. I don't understand why Windows has to restart multiple times, but I guess that's just the way it is. Yay, back in focus. Out of focus again. What is happening? Blank screen. That's usually a good thing, isn't it? Ah, oh, there we go. That screen is starting to look very familiar now. I've seen a lot of it in the past, don't know, five, ten minutes. It's almost hypnotic.